Okay, welcome to another uh, Graphics 2 tutorial. This one I kind of want to show a technique for quickly creating uh, tiles. If you're making a game uh, and it's you're making a game that's 2D, chances are you're going to be using tiles for the background. Uh, I'm just going to be using a pre uh, a pre uh, made tile set that I've well, it's not pre made. I mean, I've been working on it for a while. Um, but I just want to kind of show how to quickly get tiles like this. Granted, I'm not going to go into the edge details and you know making the transitions here, but I do kind of want to show a three-layer approach to getting grass, you know, a sandy beach, and then some uh, water in the middle of it. So, first of all, I'm going to hit the E key and get into the Effects menu, and we want to look at tiling here. Uh, what I'm going to turn all off to begin. Um, tiling basically allows you to take a brush texture and repeat it over um, an area so you don't have to copy and paste tile by tile. Uh, I have a selection of grass tiles but I think I'm going to use this tile here. Uh, we're going to use three layers. There's going to be a top grass layer, a middle uh, sandy beach area, and then at the bottom, bottom most I'm going to do water. So since we're on layer one down here uh, I'm going to begin by putting in my water first. We'll go water, then we'll add a layer, put sand on top of that, and we'll add a final layer and put grass on top of that. Um, so my water tile, I think I have three of them. Uh, I'm going to use, I think, this one up here. So we're going to start by making that a brush. Of course, uh, a brush is just hitting the B key for brush, selecting the region we want. And I'm going to just quickly show you just as how um, this is how that uh, tiling mode works that I told you about. So it just keeps repeating the, the brush pattern over and over again. Anyway, I'm going to hit U to undo that. We're going to create this, uh, this kind of diamond shape first. So uh, it doesn't matter where you do it, just make sure you have space to start. Um, I'm, going to hit, I'm going to actually do this with the, rec the filled rectangle tool, and I'll do that by holding Shift and hitting R. And then I'm going to carefully create this star pattern here. And I don't know how well the grid lines are going to show up on the video. Hopefully, uh, if I zoom in with my mouse wheel, it might show a little better. But I'm just being very careful to stay within these grid lines. Okay, so this is going to be the bottom most, um, the bottom most area of these three layers. So I'm going to start by adding another layer in. And if we hold the mouse, you can see that it's uh, just black. It's pure transparent. And we're going to lay in the sand on top of the water. I have three sand tiles here. Uh, we need to return to layer one. If you try to grab a layer, uh, if you try to grab a brush and you're on a different layer than what you want for the brush, it won't grab anything or it'll grab the current layer. So we need to go back to layer one where the, um, where the sand tiles are. Uh, and I'm going to try this tile here, I think. So we'll hit B for brush to make that the current brush. Again, be careful that you're staying within the uh, the grid when you're selecting your tiles. Uh, I guess I didn't cover it, but uh, grid mode, if you right-click here, you can um, basically show the grid, and this setting will be what's displayed. I'm not going to snap to the grid because uh, for this project, well... I guess I could, it doesn't matter. But anyway, let's get back to the second layer. You can see it's blank. I'm going to start by going right over the top of these blue ones. Now it's not going to hurt them because we're on a separate layer than the base, which is the water. So I'm going to hold Shift and hit R for my filled rectangle. And I'm just going to begin going right over the top of the blue. Okay, I'm just being careful not to get one pixel out of the way. You do have to be kind of careful when you're laying these in. And you can see, um, if I put my mouse over this layer, you can see there's just the sand there. And like I said, finally we'll be putting in uh, the grass layer. So we want to go back to layer one. And I'm going to use the keyboard arrows sometimes to make sure that I'm all the way against that edge. Um, that way you're not grabbing just part of a tile. Um, hitting the up keyboard arrow and left I can make sure that's jammed all the way up there otherwise you know you could get a piece of a tile okay so for grass I think I'll use this piece of grass so I'll hit B for my brush I'm gonna zoom in with the mouse wheel and make sure I grab it better safe than sorry okay now we need a third layer because the grass is the topmost as we carve down into it 
So we're going to add a layer, and you can see it's blank. We'll left click that three to make sure we're on the on the three. You can see that it's uh, lit in white, the current layer you're on. Uh, I'm going to hit Shift and R for my filled rectangle a third time. And I'll begin laying these in. You can kind of see that um, using that pattern fill mode is a lot nicer than having to click your tile over and over and over and over again. Okay, so if I come down here we see that there's a grass layer on top. Just below that there is a sand layer and then below that at the bottom most with the rest of the tiles there's the um, the water layer. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to hit E to get back into my effects menu. I'm going to turn all of them off. Uh, that won't affect the grid showing, by the way. And let me just make sure I have this set up the way I want. Okay, yep, I think that's going to do. Um, now selecting the transparent color, I'm going to hit D for my drawing mode. I'm going to hit delete to get rid of that current um, current brush and go back to the default one pixel. And I'm going to hit the period key to grow this out a little bit. All right, and then as we carve down into this, you're going to start to see that it's the uh, it's the sand layer that you're going to start seeing. So I want to connect this point to this point so it tiles, just to make sure. There we go. And remember, we're we're carving away. If you look at the tile, you can see that it's carving through into the next layer, and that's kind of what you can go for here. Then we want to connect those two points so it tiles, and we want to make a nice little. Um, uh, just a, This is a corner tile if you have a, a corner that you need for something. We're going to carve into that. and I give it a little bit of a wobble as I go so it looks very organic. And you can see, let's get rid of all this now. We don't want any more green on this part. I'm going to just use my brush with the transparent color to carve down into it. Now we're going to go to the second layer and we're going to start carving on that. And that's going to carve down into the blue with the um, with this transparent color. Remember in graphics too when you use transparent it's going to erase what you have and carve down into the layer below. So you can kind of see um, basically you, this would be able to tile and you'd be able to have you know a diamond shaped lake or whatever and also you'd probably need to make some other tiles too um, and you need to and you you'd need to work this uh, edge area so it's a little bit you know more organic and smooth looking. Um, you might add it so it has a hint of transparency or whatever you think it needs. A lot of games will use kind of a little lighter color where the water meets the uh, sea, and maybe uh, you could even well, yeah. I'm going to use the uh, we're going to try this stipple brush here, and I'll see if I can't. Uh, see how that looks. So we'll hit, you can hit the effects button or you can, I'm going to turn on the sieve here. And remember we're, we're still drawing in the transparent color. Let's see how this, uh, I'm just, just trying different blending techniques here. If I zoom out, yeah, the, con the effect isn't really convincing because these colors are too dissimilar. Um, also you, you might try the darken brush or you can try the, there's other effects you can try. There's a, uh, a smooth sometimes if I shrink my brush quite a bit. This might help, it might make it worse, I don't know. This kind of just visually smooths the edge a little bit. Um, I can hear the pixel art pixel artist whining right now that that's not proper pixel art, but I really don't care, it's the result that matters. As long as it's low color, it's pixel art in my book, as long as you're you know making it manually with low color. You can see how it smoothed it out a little bit. You might want to get rid of these, you know, black black nasties here but uh, and it, it's kind of hit and miss it all depends on you know what the tools have to work with in your palette but anyway um, you can now take these starting with the top layer if you like it you can act then you will merge these back down into one so let's see we want to merge the, that layer down and we'll merge that layer down and now you can see that um, it's all on Oops, let me undo that. Um, let me turn this off. I'm going to turn all off. Now you can see they're all on the same page. So basically my approach is to create three layers. Start with your grass, or start with your water. On top of that, put your sand on. And then on top of the sand, put the grass on. 
then starting with the topmost layers you carve down by erasing and it goes deeper 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 you know the different levels you need so we've kind of simulated a real land you know land mass that we've dug down into the sand and then dug down into the water anyway um, hopefully that'll help you with some of your transitional tiles so have a good day and keep making art